My hotel is very close to the airport. So I could actually walk back to the airport and get a train and go into central Frankfurt. <laughs> I'm in the main train station in Frankfurt. I'm not going to try to pronounce the actual name. I'm not going to try to pronounce a lot of things in German. Time to just walk about the city. from the train station and I'm now in the financial district you can see all those towers behind me very unlike any European city I've been to very modern well at least this part is a lot of skyscrapers it could easily pass for somewhere in the US European cities are usually more classical than this I'm on a bridge over the main or mine river and uh, again one of the things about Frankfurt is that it really doesn't look like a European city. This is a good example. Look at the skyline. When I now came out the main train station in the main part of the city I was a bit taken aback because how do I put it? As soon as you walk out man that seems a bit bit rough saw some characters it didn't feel as safe but thankfully the further i walked away from there it's gotten really nice i guess it's that little area If it's one thing you can depend on in Europe, no matter if it's a somewhat modern city like this or not, it's those cathedrals, man. They always blow me away. And there it is, guys. Famous Frankfurt skyline. And I'm crossing back over to the other side of the main river. Main river is German. I, I don't get it. That cathedral I just visit. I saw that from a distance, the top of it. And I was chasing that for a long time. The good thing is I ended up discovering a whole lot more. In trying to find that cathedral, I found the uh, Main River, another cathedral, and it was just fantastic. So sometimes not having a plan is the best plan. My graphic design friends will understand. We're going to the River Rhine tour. We just stop a little bit to see a very nice spot. It's very picturesque. <laughs> So that's what we're taking it to it. Not bad. River Rhine. <laughs>
the, the river boat on the river Rhine. As you can see behind me, and we're passing a lot of these little towns and we're seeing a lot of castles and whatnot. It's very interesting. The rain started to fall, so we had to kind of scramble a little bit. But still a lot of fun and the scenery man, it's just fantastic. You would see a lot of these barges, you know the river is a big commercial shipping lane. It's not just for cruising and sightseeing, a lot of material and whatnot is shipped up and down the river. So apparently here is very famous for wine producing white wine and you'll see a lot of vineyards all that is great vines it's in rows i hope you guys can see it see toys coming to an end our stuff is coming up but it was really nice man you know we're on the river a lot of medieval castles right behind me take a look at that amazing stuff man. this restaurant and hotel apparently it's one of the, if not the oldest hotel in Germany, over 400 years old. Very, very authentic architecture. We're gonna have dinner there. So you see the decoration in this restaurant, very unique. Nautical theme, but let's be honest, it, it went way beyond that. Yeah, it is. Hi from Mexico. I'm from Mexico. Yeah, she just finished her in Chicago. Finished dinner. On to wine tasting. Back from the Rhine Valley tour, the Rhine River tour. It was really really good walking through and looking for Roma, Dom Roma, something like that. So it's be kind of like an old part of the city, traditional architecture. It's a really nice part of the city, it's getting pretty late and if you can tell I'm very tired so I'm gonna, gonna head back to the hotel. Yeah. 